guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning back in for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kiera Selena also known as Nurse Key I'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel I mainly focus on nursing and skincare but we also talk about beauty lifestyle finance YouTube growth and a bunch of other different things so by the end of this video you like what you see and you would like to see more content like this from me in the future do not forget to support your girl by hitting on that like button and do not forget to join the family by subscribing and turning on your notification bells that way you'll be notified whenever I post future content. So it's been a while since I posted some nursing content, so I'm very, very excited about this one. But this is a question I have received so many times, surprisingly, since this whole chaos started. And I just wanted to come on here and give you guys the necessary information that you guys need. So today's video is going to be all about how to become a nurse in Canada as a foreign nurse. Now, before we start this video, I just wanna let you guys know that the process for North American nurses and non-North American nurses is completely different. So if you are a nurse here in North America, you skip to the end of the video, or I will probably leave this timestamp somewhere over here or maybe in the description, you guys can skip over to that part because your process is completely different. All right, so for all of my non-North American foreign nurses, is. Step number one would be to check out the NNAS, which stands for the National Nursing Assessment Service. Now, it is literally impossible for you to become a nurse here in Canada without going through them because they are the body here in Canada that's going to take in all the necessary documents from you to assess your education and determine whether or not you qualify to work as a nurse here in Canada. And they do this by comparing your schooling to Canadian study standards. Now, there are a few requirements that you need to meet to be able to apply, but there there aren't many. This requirement would be to have graduated from a college or university nursing program outside of Canada. The second one would be to have never worked in Canada. And the third one would be to want to work as an RN, LPN, or psychiatric nurse. Now let's talk about the fees because there are quite a few fees that you will have to pay to get this process completed. The initial application fee is $650, which includes a province that you're going to choose, right? So you're going to decide what province that you want to work in. And the NNAS is going to go in. They're going to assess your education. They're going to look at the requirements needed for that province. And they're going to tell you whether or not you will get approved. However, if you want to know if you're going to be able to qualify in more than one province, you're going to have to pay an extra $55 per province. So $650 will include everything and your initial province of choice. But if there are other provinces that you want to get your education evaluated for, you're going to have to pay an extra $55 for the advisory report for each province. Another fee you need to look out for is the translation fee. So just know that if your documents are in a language other than English and French, you will have to pay a one-time $85 fee for the translation. So now you wanna know, how long is it gonna take you to know whether or not you qualify to work as a nurse here in Canada? And it is approximately 12 months, which can be a little bit longer now because of the chaos that is going on, but it's usually about 12 months. If you want this process to take you as little time as possible, it is your responsibility to make sure you read through the handbook, which has everything that you need to possibly know in terms of documents, formats, and everything when applying. But making sure that you read through the pamphlet to understand exactly what it is that they need and sending it in a timely manner will also speed up the process for you. So now everything has been approved and it's actually time for you to register with the body of the province that you want to work at. So let's say you want to work in Ontario. It is now time for you to go on the CNO, the College of Nurses of Ontario website, where you will apply to work as a nurse. So you'll apply to register. And the first step is just sending in all the necessary documents, filling in your name, sending your ID, your schooling papers as well as the papers of approval that the NNAS sent to you um, proving that you are qualified to work in Ontario as a nurse you're gonna send all of that stuff in now that initial application is gonna cost you a fee depending on what province you're applying at the fee will vary so that's for you to look up basically an exam that you're going to have to do just to make sure that you understand what your scope of practice is in the province that you're applying at. There's usually a fee for that as well and that once again varies from province to province so that's for you to look at. Lastly you will have to write the NCLEX exam so you're gonna have to pay and write the NCLEX exam which is the official nursing licensing exam and once you pass that exam the last fee that you're gonna have to pay is your licensing exam which is the fee that you're gonna have to pay to actually get your license which is what you need to be able to legally. Now one thing I want to let you guys know is that this is everything that you need to know in order to get 
get licensed as a nurse, but there is an immigration aspect. We'll need to get a work visa or a student visa or a permanent residency card. You will need to do something on the immigration side and that is not my specialty. So I highly recommend that you guys go find a lawyer or a paralegal that will be able to help you. But I'm just letting you guys know what you guys need to know in order to become licensed nurses in the province um, that you wanna work at. So this part is for my North American nurses and I'm so sorry, I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but this does not apply to LPN. So you will have to follow the same steps that were mentioned to the non-North American nurses in the beginning of the video. So you guys can go watch that and that will apply for my registered nurses. If you are a registered nurse here in North America, it is relatively easy for you to um, be able to work in Canada. The first thing would be for you to decide what province that you wanna work in and for you to register with that body. You would apply to register there. You would fill in the form, you know, with your information, your ID and all of that, send in all your, you know, schooling papers, and then they will assess you and determine whether or not they need for you to write the NCLEX, which is probably not likely. If you wrote the NCLEX, in America, you probably will not have to write it um, here again in Canada. So you will apply, you will pay the application fee, you will write the jurisprudence exam just to understand what your scope of practice is here in Canada. Um, you will have to show proficiency in English or French, but that probably doesn't apply to you because if you're American, you're, you most likely speak English. And once again, whether or not you have to write the NCLEX depends. That's, re that's really the CNO's choice or the nursing body's choice and they will let you guys know. Once you are registered, with the body, you will now be able to apply for jobs. So if you apply for a job and they give you a call back and they actually give you an offer with the proof of an offer, what you can do is take that proof plus take your proof of schooling and you can drive over to the Canadian border and apply in place, in person for something called a TN visa. The officers at the border will look at your education and they will look at the offer of employment that you have gotten. And if everything is all good, they will give you a TN visa, which is valid for, I believe, a total of two years, which means you will be able to legally work in Canada for a total of two years. guys i really hope this information was valuable to you if it was do not forget to let me know down in the comments as well as give me a thumbs up and share this information with somebody who can benefit from it if there's anything extra that you guys want to add please leave it down below this is based on my own research i'm a canadian nurse i have never um, went through the process of actually moving here so this is once again totally based on my research so if you guys are actually experienced let me know what your experience was like down below and if there's anything else that you guys want to add and if you guys are not yet part of the family and you want to see videos like this from me in the future, do not forget to join the family by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bells. That way you'll be notified when I post future content and I hope to see you all in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.